Hello and welcome to the YouTube channel of Chamili Devi Institute of Pharmacy. In today's session, we are going to learn about the synthesis of isoniazid. I have a brief introduction about isoniazid. Isoniazid is a white crystalline superfine powder which dissolves moderately in water. Further, isoniazid belongs to the antibiotics and is one of the most important chemically synthesized drugs against tuberculosis. The structure of isoniazid deduces from nicotinic acid. The base body consists of heteroaromatic pyrimidine ring which has low density of electrons because of the nitrogen. At position 4 of the pyrimidine ring, the hydrogen is replaced with hydrazide. All carbons of the molecule are sp2 hydrazide. So, the base body is flat and there is no opportunity of turning carbon-carbon bonds. Just the two nitrogens of the hydrazide group are sp2 hydrazide so they can twist around their bonds. Isoniazid was discovered by Mayer and Melli in 1912 at the University of Prague, but they did not recognize the antibiotic effect of it. Demarc, who worked for the Bayer AG, discovered its antibiotic effect. Incidentally, his colleagues Hans Offe and Werner Schifflin synthesized hydrazin derivatives and got isoniazid as an intermediate gut. After performing some tests in 1950 with the conclusion of a good anti-tuberculosis effect, they completed more test series in 1951. Only one year later, isoniazid achieved the international market as one of the first and effectively working antibiotics to fight against tuberculosis. Isoniazid is the most important antibiotic to fight tuberculosis and it's popular because of its bioavailability. It operates against the human causative organism Mycobacterium tuberculosis. Nowadays, isoniazid is used in combination with other tuberculosis drugs like rifampicin or primazide even for treatment of tuberculosis, diseased people and for prevention. Now let's quickly move towards the synthesis of isoniazid. Starting material for synthesis of isoniazid is 4 picolin. This will get hydrolyzed The 4 picolin will get oxidized and this oxidization is carried out in presence of potassium permanganate that is KMnO4 what happens? The methyl group gets converted into carboxylic group and new molecule is formed known as isonicotinic acid. First, the isonicotinic acid is turned into isonicotinic acid ethyl ester by an acid catalyzed esterification with ethanol. At the beginning of the reaction, the carbonyl group is protonated by the acid. So, the carbon gets more reactive. Now, ethanol starts a nucleophile attack. At this carbon, the proton is delocated to the hydroxide group of nicotinic acid and water is split off. 
a proton is split off too. So, the catalyst is degenerated and isonicotinic ethyl ester is built as an intermediate good. The following aminolysis is similar to the esterification with the difference of no acid catalyst. The hydrazin attacks the carbon and ethanol is eliminated and the final molecule is isoniazide. So here, this we have done the synthesis of isoniazid. Helpful to you. Please do share, subscribe the channel. Thank you.